Hello, boys and girls. Good morning, maybe. It's just over nine o'clock. It's uh, Tuesday. And I think it's the 26th of March. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, uh, today is uh, a bit of an exciting day for me, at least. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is right now, but um, I'm just uh, I'm about to run outside uh, to my car and I'm gonna go somewhere. First, I'm gonna get me some uh, something to eat. Then I'm gonna go somewhere and uh, then I'm gonna be back hopefully. And uh, I'll see you then. Hey, I'm so excited right now. I'm on my way to somewhere. <laughs> but first, I gotta stop to get some uh, some fuel. I'm running low on diesel. It's freaking cold. It's it's three degrees Celsius, and it's raining. That's pretty crazy. It's raining and it's raining and it's three degrees. So there's a chance uh, could be slippery in certain places. But anyway, I'm gonna keep driving and uh, I'm gonna get some uh, diesel in the car and uh, see you soon. Hi again, I'm back home. I've uh, just uh, been a few places. <laughs> um, before I tell you about it, uh, I am going to uh, eat some lunch. It's now uh, 5 to 11. Uh, I have actually uh, put diesel in the car for the first time this year so <laughs> that's kind of weird and uh i filled up the the, the tank as well so freaking is expensive even diesel is uh expensive it's over 15 kroners with the discount i get so um i'm going to show you the the receipt right here right here you see the receipt too small Okay, I'm gonna blow it up for you. You see it now? See how freaking expensive that it that is? I'm gonna uh, do some uh, converting and uh, show you what it costs in dollars and gallons and uh, all that stuff. So yeah, don't complain when you have to buy your cheap gas or diesel. Um, so as I said, I'm gonna eat some lunch now. And uh, then I'm gonna continue uh, on today's video. There we are. Uh, I thought I was recording uh, just now, but uh, I guess I wasn't. So how's the audio? Is the audio uh, okay? And is the picture quality okay? Look at this miserable crappy weather so how's the audio I'm gonna disconnect the microphone now okay now I'm using the uh, internal uh, microphone on the camera so what does it sound like I'm guessing uh, the face tracking is freaking awesome that is very impressive. Maybe I can put this down here. Like so, maybe. Just trying to get things. So, what do you think? I'm guessing the audio is pretty crappy right now. But uh, is the video okay? I'm gonna reconnect the microphone. 
if I can. There we go, just reconnected the... Uh, just reconnected the, the microphone. So what do you think? Does it sound okay? Does it uh, look okay? I know I was kind of uh, secretive uh, when I was talking uh, earlier. And there's a reason for that. See, here's the phone that I usually film with. And uh, as you know, I've been talking a lot about uh, the Canon M50 camera that I really wanted because it had great audio, you no know, great video quality, and uh, flip out touchscreen and uh, all those goodies. And uh, I actually I mentioned in a previous video that. Uh, I was gonna sell my uh, my gaming laptop, and uh, yesterday I did. So the this the sad sad thing is I don't have a uh, computer to game with anymore. So, uh, but the good thing is uh, I didn't get as much money for it uh, as I was hoping, but uh, uh, I got a decent amount of money. Uh, the main goal for selling the computer was uh, the main reason for selling the computer was so I could get enough money to pay the rent because uh, the rent is due in like four or five days I think and uh, now I do and I also uh, put the diesel in the car for the first time this year and I actually filled up the tank and it was freaking expensive really expensive uh, and I had some money left over <laughs> so I bought a couple of things um, I think I'm gonna take out the take out my phone so I can show you let's put this in record so now I can uh, film myself while I'm Filming myself, yeah. And uh, as you can see, it's not the um, Canon M50. That's the Boya microphone that I had uh, had uh, before. Damn, it's pretty noisy that uh, focusing lens. And I got a um, GorillaPod a K3. It can take uh, up to three kilos, I think. Yeah. I guess that's why it's called the uh, K3. <clears throat> anyway, I uh, picked up this. Uh, I was looking at it uh, in the store yesterday, and uh, I thought it was a little bit too expensive uh, because this model came out. Uh, I think it was March of 2017, and um, so uh, when I woke up. Uh, uh, no, yesterday before I went to bed, I was actually watching YouTube until 4 o'clock in the morning and I was comparing this camera with the M50. This is the EOS 200D. In the US, I think it's called uh, LS2. Uh, don't ask me why, but uh, that's just, just the way it is. Uh, yeah, there's my face. Focus, baby! Yeah! Um, so I went online this morning after I did a lot of tests, a lot, watched a lot of uh, test videos on YouTube, and uh, the differences differences between this camera and the M50 was really really small. This one has the uh, flip out touchscreen. It's identical to the M50. Um, the main difference is that. Um, this is a DSLR and uh, the M50 is a mirrorless camera. That's really basically the main difference of the cameras. It's a little bit bigger than the M50, but it's 
I think they said that it's one of the smallest, if not the smallest uh, DSLR camera you can get. Because uh, I was when I opened the box, I was like, "Whoa, this is small." And I was actually planning on doing a uh, doing a unboxing video uh, when I took out the camera, but I was just too excited. Uh, I just wanted to get it out, so uh, I got some lunch, as I said uh, previously. And uh, while I was eating lunch, uh, I put the battery uh, in the charger so uh, I could get some more um, power, top up the battery a bit. So I got the uh, camera here with the uh, 15, 18 to 55 millimeter uh, kit lens, and I got the the Gorilla Pod uh, the 3K, as you can see here. Focus. Don't even know. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. So I got that, and I got the. Uh, got this nifty little uh, nifty little camera bag and it's got room for a uh, camera a few extra lenses and it's got a uh, it's got a compartment in here for uh, for memory cards and uh, extra batteries and of course the camera came with the uh, the Canon strap, um, and I got a uh, uh, the memory card SanDisk Elite. Uh, it's not a U3 card, but uh, doesn't need that uh, for uh, filming in uh, full HD. If I got the M50 uh, and I was gonna do some t 4K video, then I would get the the U3 card. But uh, with this camera, I don't need it. Uh, I'm mainly gonna use it for uh, recording 10, 1080 and uh, also uh, to do some photography. And I got this uh, filter from uh, Hoya. Um, I think it's the right filter. It's 58 millimeter. I have it measured. Cause yeah, it says 58 on the yeah. So good. So this one should uh, this one should fit perfectly. How close can I get? That's not bad. Pretty close. Uh, eliminates ref reflection from non-metallic surfaces such as water, glass, etc. Also increases contrast and color chroma. Uh, so if if I'm filming uh, outside uh, with a sunny sky behind me, a bright sky, uh, it's gonna turn down the the highlights or the the high the brightness of the sky. So um, yeah, and uh, if you're filming through a window. If I understand correctly, I'm not a photographer, but if I'm filming through a window, it's going to remove the reflections uh, from the window. Um, it's actually kind of heavy. Uh, you're watching uh, Casey Neistat. He's a pretty tiny guy. Uh, I'm six feet tall and 220 or 25 pounds or something. Well, it's not heavy, heavy. It's it's not like I'm, like I'm getting tired, but uh, you can see him floating around on his skateboard, uh, holding the big uh, D80 or whatever he's using, you know. So uh, like it's nothing. So that's kind of impressive. He's a pretty fit guy, though. Uh, I'm not that fit. I can lift heavy things, but uh, I can't move too fast anymore. Uh, I could before. I did some running and stuff. Do you want to go outside? I think the cat wants to go outside, so let's see if he does. Have you eaten, Rainer? Yep. It's raining outside, so 
but if he wants to go outside, he can go outside. I was a little bit uh, comprehensive uh, on buying the gorilla pod. Uh, the reason is uh, the reason is um, I had a cheap uh, knockoff gorilla pod uh, that I used on the phone earlier. And uh, I actually gave that away because it was so flimsy. It it could, if you put the legs in the exactly the correct position, then it would hold uh, the phone up. But if uh, you moved one of the legs, it would just drop right down. It wasn't stiff enough or strong enough to hold the to hold the phone. Um, the gorilla part I got. Uh, I think it's the second smallest or something. I was looking at uh, another one and that was rated at 500 grams. And the camera with the lens, I think it's around there, I can't remember. And uh, when you got the weight of the gorilla pod and the microphone, uh, so it adds a little bit more weight to it. But uh, it's not really bad. Uh, the legs on the gorilla part is really really stiff so uh, I'm kind of excited to see what this looks like this is the first video I'm doing I was actually um, there's a dial on top of the camera it says off on and the movie so I just uh, turned the dial to movie and I hit the shutter button and I thought I was recording but uh, apparently nothing happened so there's a dedicated button to start recording so if I hit the, uh, I think I'm just taking a picture, but now the battery is blinking, so yeah, I gotta charge it up. See ya! Hey guys, I'm back. Damn, that uh, autofocus is uh, really noisy. I mean, really. The camera's shaking. So now the autofocus is, uh, where's the focus ring, there it is. Now I turned off the uh, autofocus, don't know how uh, well I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I'm guessing that's okay. And I got the uh, I got the ND filter um, on the lens as well. Can't really see much difference. Uh, can't really see any difference inside. You can see it uh, up uh, if you see the picture here. I'm gonna turn it now. See there, now it's bright, uh, darker and brighter. So you can use it to adjust uh, adjust the highlights. Uh, I'm gonna let's see if I can adjust this so I can. Uh, oh, that was dark. That was very dark. Yeah, much brighter. I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, Focus in on my face manually. That looks pretty good. And zoom out. So now I'm. Uh, I've turned off the uh, autofocus. The autofocus is uh, really, really good on the camera, but uh, the kit lens that uh, came with the camera it's a really cheap plasticky lens and. Uh, it's really freaking noisy so um, I'm gonna turn the uh, autofocus back on and um, I'm gonna point, in, point the camera uh, out the window and uh, then I'm gonna turn the uh, ND filter and uh, hopefully you should be able to see uh, a difference 
So I'm turning the autofocus on. Okay, it's on now. I'm gonna flip the screen back so I can see. And now I'm pointing uh, outside. Now I'm turning. Don't look like there's much difference to the sky. Let's see uh, trees here. Yeah. Uh, looks like it's getting a little darker. Um, I was gonna test the reflection, but I can't see any reflection, and uh, that's probably that's probably just uh, the ND filter doing its job, I guess. I can't see any reflection, but I guess it must must be working. Yeah, I can see some reflection there from uh, from the light. As you can see now I got the uh, the LED light very bright very bright and uh, pretty nice let's see if I can adjust the ND filter doesn't look like not much difference but I'm just gonna leave the ND filter on as a uh, as a protection so now I, can, now I can start to do uh, Peter McKinnon videos. What's up? Whatever he's doing. Anyway, um, I've been watching some Simpsons on TV, and uh, I'm probably gonna lose focus now because I turned off uh, autofocus. But I am going to make me some coffee. And it turned dark. And it's bright again. Beautiful bright. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to be pretty happy uh, with this camera. I'm going on a little uh, little road trip tomorrow. I'm going to bring the camera with me, but uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, pick up another battery, because uh, especially when you're shooting video, the batteries, batteries doesn't last very long. I think the camera, the battery in this camera is, it's rated for... Or five six hundred pictures or something and the M50 was 200 and something pictures so uh, the battery in this one is much better but uh, when you're shooting video uh, the battery uh, runs out pretty fast So I'm going on a little road trip to Voss tomorrow and uh, then I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try to pick up a um, another battery and uh, maybe I can see if I can find uh, a um, 12 volt charger I'm gonna turn the autofocus back off because that was pretty annoying. It's not the camera's fault, it's the lens. The lens is really, really noisy. It's a cheap uh, plastic lens, kit lens as they call it. It's the ones that uh, comes with the cameras. So, uh, it seems pretty good. It's not the clearest lens I've seen, but uh, let's see if I'm in focus here. And I'm definitely not. There we go. It's not the clearest lens I've seen, um, but um, this is in what was it, 18, 
18 to 55, I think. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a 10 or 11 or 12 millimeter lens. That, uh, then I can get a much wider shot, uh, especially when I'm vlogging. And uh, if I want to take like product shots and stuff like that, uh, I'm going to get a much big, much better uh, image. So I'm going to try and uh, focus on this. Uh, that's pretty good. Get pretty close with the with the lens, about three four feet away. So you can see how uh, you can see how blurry my face is. So that's pretty. It's not bad. Could have been worse. So let's focus in again. There we go. So I've uh, just had lunch, had some uh, urge as you can see, um, I've been uh, trickle charging the battery every few minutes, <laughs> it wasn't uh, fully charged when I took it out of the box, so that's why I want uh, at least two extra batteries, <clears throat> I keep uh, looking over at the screen. Maybe I should just close it, so I'm not uh, tempted at looking at the screen. Now I can uh, focus on you guys. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going on a road trip tomorrow to Vos, and I'm bringing the camera and the gorilla pod, and uh, um, hopefully it's it's probably going to be raining all the time, but hopefully. It's gonna clear up enough so I can uh, go outside, go out the car and uh, take some pictures and maybe shoot some video. I'm hoping at least. So I'm probably gonna be there for uh, not very long, an hour or something. But um, there's not very many uh, photo shops or. Um, electronics shops uh, in Voss, it's mostly uh, sporting goods sh uh, stores so yeah maybe I should do the beer transition thanks for watching and uh, remember to like and subscribe